guys, it's me, and today is a surprise video, something that I've actually been wanting to do for a long time, um, but I had a lot of obstacles in the way. So today I'm actually going to be reviewing three dry herb vapes that I got in the month of May and June um, for the medical marijuana that I was trying out for my anxiety. So um, a lot of you want an update on that also, and I'm going to update that at the end of the video. But I wanted to just review the three vapes that I got from three different companies and just kind of go through them and tell you which one is my favorite. So I have three, so I'm going to count down from the third, the one that I liked the least, I guess. Um, so the one that I liked the least out of all three, I'm going to say right away, okay, all of them were really good. But I mean, I have to rank them if I'm going to rank them. Might as well, because I'm doing a video, might as well rank them, tell you which one I preferred. Um, so I also choose to do this video in a comparison because if I just talk about one, I can't not talk about the other two that I tried because I tried them all in the same kind of span of time, period of time, so it only makes sense to me to be able to talk about all three in one video. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this one over here, okay? This is the Air Vape Extra Small. I got this from PortableHookahs.com. It is $179. So I'm going to take it out of the box and show you. So on the box it says fast, elegant, thin, mighty. So this, um, and if you're wondering, like this is not like the vapes, like Thai vapes, you know, Vape Daddy. This is not that at all. This is literally for dry herb. So um, I had a lot of anxiety, still do, and I felt like I had no more options. So I tried medical marijuana. So I wanted to try out some vapes to see which ones I preferred and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna list the pros and the cons of this vape over here. So this is what it looks like. And let me see if I can bring it all up to you. So it's not going in focus, but that's okay because it's either this goes in focus or I go in focus. So this is, okay, so it's really actual like portable hookahs.com, LOL, like literally it's portable, okay? Like you can hold it in your hand, you can put it in your pocket and it's fine. <laughs> it takes off the cap as I put it in my pocket. Nice, Chase. So that's actually one of the biggest pros of this is that it's so compact, but like any other uh, dry herb vape, this gets really, really, really hot, okay? So you can't put it in your pocket right after you vape it. So another pro that I really liked is that the actual part here where you're sucking in is made out of glass. This is really good because you don't get that kind of plasticky taste that I actually looked online and that's actually a thing. So I'm not alone in that because there's one of them that has more plastic and it is, it does give you like a more plasticky taste. What's really good about this one also is that it has custom controls, okay? so. That's really cool because other ones that I'm going to talk about and other ones that are on the market have preset heat settings and usually it's only four, five, or six, some only have two. So you press a button and it gives you a specific heat. You press another button and it's another specific heat. This one is the only one that I've ever touched that you can actually go up and down in heat, like literally to the degree that you want. So if you're super anal and you really like a certain degree, like I want it at 420, I'm joking, I'm joking, obviously. Um, uh, uh, so you press on that, that's the, the heat temperature. So it's like really precise in that matter, which is really cool and the display is actually really cool also. So another cool thing about this is that it comes with a case. I'm gonna put this in the con list because this case is super not the best and also like it's hard to fit in, but then once you fit it in, it's like, it's okay, but it's ugly. Okay, I'm someone like aesthetics. Like I really love things that look good and like good marketing always gets me. Like. You know, I like things that are like clean, whatever. For some reason, I just really don't like this pouch, but if you're gonna vape in public and you need like a quick pouch to put it in, this is really great. I honestly, I keep taking this off. I honestly wish that um, this had a loop for your belt. So it's like, it's on your belt, like, you know, old school cell phone, no? Okay, so I just figured out another con that I didn't realize. It's really hard to take this thing out of the pouch without taking this off. I keep taking this off. Um, so if you're wondering how this works, there's a little chamber. So you put the you put the medical marijuana or whatever you want in here, and then you put this back on, you turn it on, you wait for it to heat, okay? This one takes about two minutes, I think. I remember I wrote it down in my notes here. I'm pretty sure it's two minutes for it to get hot, which is not too bad. It does really have to get hot, hot, hot. So like two minutes is not that bad for it to get like hot. So you wait and then after when it's go, you just go. You don't have to press any buttons when you inhale. It's not like another vape where you have to press a button. This you just kind of inhale and you go. So the accessories that this comes with is another kind of um, rubber tubing thing that goes on top to suck. 
Um, it comes with a charger, like a wall charger here, like that. And then it also comes with this, this like cleaning kit. So it has tweezers. These looks like pretty good tweezers. I didn't really notice that. Like I could just use those for my eyebrows. I'm kidding. It has a little poker and it has something to clean it because it is really important to clean it because it does get like gunky and stuff like that after a while. So my total rating of this one is pretty good, even it being like a like the third one out of the three that I chose. So you can tell that the next two are going to be really good. Also, um, number one thing that I liked is that you can change the setting of the heat. It's not preset setting. I don't know. I really like seeing the numbers go up and down. That was really cool for me. So like I said, I got the Air Vape XS, so extra small, I guess, um, at portablehookahs.com. So check that out. I'll put the links in the description, obviously, below. All right, let's go to number two. So number two is a really popular one that a lot of people talk about online. It's been reviewed like to X extensiveness is, that's not a word, but it's the Airizer Air. Air, Air, Airzer Air. Airizer? Look, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't say it. Um, so this one had rave reviews online, so I was like, I need to try this. So let's take it out of the box and see what this is about. So the website I got it from is vaped.ca, it's a Canadian company, but you can also get it in the States. I'm pretty sure that they ship to the States, why wouldn't they? Um, and it was $199, sorry, <laughs> my leggy is itchy. <laughs> so this is what it looks like over here. And there's a lot of things that come in this box. So for some reason, they give you these like dry herbs. It's not marijuana or anything. It's literally like thyme or I don't even know, whatever. So this is what the main apparatus vape looks like, okay? The chamber inside is pretty big, which is really great. And then you get this piece. So this is the mouthpiece. You take off the little um, rubber stopper at the bottom, um, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. And then you just insert it in here and then you turn it on and you're good to go. Obviously you have to wait till it heats up, but this is one of them that does not have like the setting where you can change the temperature. This only has, I think it has five heat temperature settings. I think, yeah, it's five settings and you can see that with the color. So like a different color, like blue and green and red and purple and stuff like that. What's really amazing about this is the glass, okay? And I know that the other one has glass, but for some reason, the flavor in this one is so good. Like it's so much, fresher, flavorful. I don't know how to explain it, but it just feels better in your mouth. So another thing that's pretty cool is it doesn't really look that portable because this is pretty big, but like if I look at my phone, it is smaller. I have an iPhone, f I was gonna say four, LOL. I have an iPhone eight plus. So it is, you know, th this iPhone is gigantic. So this will fit in your pocket. It does kind of look like a wiener though, like a little semi, you got a little hard um, for your vape. So maybe if you put it in your bag, um, so this, it does come with a silicone sleeve that you can put on top of it, which is really great because the machine does get pretty hot because it is heating up like a crazy amount. But before I put this on, I wanna show you that there's these things here that kind of look like vents to me. And in my opinion, from what I see, it looks like the silicone sleeve kind of blocks the vents, which makes the machine hotter. That makes me feel a little uncomfortable, um, but you don't have to use this silicone sleeve. Like you're fine even holding it, it just gets a little bit hot. But um, so I use the silicone sleeve half the time and then half I didn't. So I actually prefer it without the silicone sleeve just cause I'm scared that it gets too hot and I'm anxiety and I'm doing this for anxiety. So I don't wanna have more anxiety. But what's really cool about the attachment that you put on top is the stopper here. So if you're on the go, what you can do is you put your stuff in here and put the stopper in there. Okay, so you don't have to like go to a bathroom and like put your thing in there and then just, it, that's not how it works. You put it in here and then once you're out and about and you wanna use it, you just have to take the stopper off, open this, and then put this in and then you're good to go. The package also comes with another one that is just glass, okay? Like I said, remember I was like, oh, it has the most flavor, like it's really great. Um, but it does have plastic at the part here which kind of stops the flavor. When you use the one that's 100% glass like this, you actually get 100% of the flavor. So this also has a stopper that you can use that is in the bag. So if you want, like you could have like two sides or whatever. So one, you're ready now. And then if you want later on, you have like your emergency one in here. So it also comes with a bigger stopper, all right? And it looks like this. I, it's really hard to, I'm, I should be showing you these a lot closer. So these are the sizes here. I put them in my mouth. And then this one. So you see this one's a bit bigger. This one is apparently supposed to be made for the dry herb, pretty sure. But as you can tell, I never even opened this because who would smoke that? I don't get it, whatever. I will say though, 
I'm saying I don't get it when you smoke this, but I'm about to show you this big ass bag of Damiana. This is not weed. This is what I used before I got my prescription for medical marijuana. This is an herb that actually helps relieve my anxiety when you smoke it. So my issue is that it feels good when I smoke it, but I don't want to mess up my lungs um, because smoking, no matter what you smoke, is not good for you. So I wanted to try vaping it because vaping doesn't combust it, right? It vaporizes it. So I actually tried the Damiana um, and it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It doesn't um, crystallize, uh, not crystallize, it doesn't, um, uh, I mean, there's nothing to crystallize. Like there's nothing to, it doesn't, it doesn't like, it doesn't actually vape it though because it needs to burn. So it doesn't really work with the vape, but the medical marijuana does obviously. So a con of this, other than like the kind of awkward shape is that this gets really, really dirty um, and really gunky, like the inside of the vape and the inside of the cylinder here, you need to clean it out. And I know that sounds obviously you should clean it out, but some people don't do that. And um, it gets really gunky really quickly, but maybe that's just my experience with this. Maybe I didn't clean it enough, I don't know. So in total, I really did like this one though because of the clean taste and the, the fluidity of the vape going into your body. I know that sounds like a lot of big words, but I just felt like it was easier to use than the um, uh, the air vape for some reason. But in all, this was a really good one. The company vaped.ca also sent me a grinder. So this is a grinder. I think they sell it for $49. It's a four level grinder. So you put the medical marijuana in here. As you can see, it is used. So I'm not really gonna put that close. And it's magnetic. And then you do that. And then it goes to the next layer, and then the next layer you have your stuff that's already grinded. And then the last layer, which I know I should know more about this, but I don't really care. It has like a little spatula and it's like the leftover. I don't really know what you do with that. I should know, I'm sorry, but like, I really only do this for anxiety. It's not to get high. So if you get high, maybe that's what you need. I don't, I, no, I mean like if you know what you're doing, you know why you need this. But in total, this grinder was really good is what I'm saying, okay? Like it was, I only had to pass it maybe once or while well, pass. Oh, and it obviously comes with the charger as well, or wall charger. So like I said, this is my number second choice, number two choice, whatever. It's really like really light, so it's not super heavy, which I really enjoyed. And um, it's okay to put in your pocket, it just kind of looks weird. Put it in your bag and you're fine. Again, that's vaped.ca and you can also get a grinder. I think actually if you buy this, you can get a grinder for um, like a 50% off or something, like $15 or something like that. Um, it's not the same one, but it's something similar. All right, so now we're down to the last one. Out of the three that I've tried, this is my favorite one. It's called the Utilian 720, and I got it from tvape.com, and it is a $189.99, right? So this is what it looks like right over here. Um, if you open the box, it looks very simple, and I really liked, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why I really like this one and why this one was probably the best one. <laughs> Takes off the little thing, Jesus Christ. You can put it back on, I didn't break it, it, just, it comes off, I was, just I was just playing with it, okay? So first of all, in the box, you have the wall charger, you have some extra filters, and you have some cleaning things, um, and a poker to kind of like poke the stuff in. So like the one I just reviewed, this one also has preset heat settings, um, and some people really don't like that, some people like that, whatever. I'm kind of indifferent to it. I like that the numbers go up and down, but I'm okay. This is really light, it looks really heavy, heavy. it looks like a brick, but it's really like, it's really, really light. Um, so how you pack it in, you basically just take this off, which is, it's magnetic, so it comes off, it comes off pretty easily, but it's not like, like if you hit it accidentally, it's gonna come off. So you really, you have to like take it off. So it has the filter here. Like I said, you really have to clean these because they get gunky. So what's really cool about this, it has dual functionality. You can use this with dry herbs, so medical marijuana, whatever, recreational weed, whatever. But you can also use it with uh, oils and concentrates because it has another cylinder. It comes with another little cylinder that goes, whoop, you just, you just put it in there and it's oil, okay? I'm gonna warn you right now because I didn't do this. Don't fill the oil up all the way because it's gonna go everywhere. So I would say like fill the oil maybe like, I don't know, 70%, 80% and then you stick it in there and then you can go ahead and vape that because um, I really, I should have paid attention because I'm pretty sure that people say that online but I was like, ah, I'll be fine everywhere. Mm. So because that happened, I don't know if there is oil inside the vape because the vape has kind of like a filter but Obviously the heat needs to go from somewhere, like the vaporizing heat needs to kind of go through this cylinder that's up here. So you need to be able to heat it up. So there are holes in here, which is okay, you need that. But I don't know if the, 
if the oil kind of like dripped down and there's no way of cleaning it, you can't open this up. But even though you can't kind of like go inside and clean it, it is really, really easy to clean. The brush that it comes with is just like whoop and you're done. Um, and it's the same thing with this. This filter gets really gunky and it's like, I didn't clean it. You can obviously see it's disgusting. I'm not even gonna, should I bring it there? It's gross. Um, it gets really gunky, but it is really easy to clean. Whereas some of the other ones, like the airizer that I kind of showed you, the inside, you could still see that it is very, um, like brownish, I guess, like gray, brown, like dirty, because um, it is a little bit harder to clean that one um, on the inside, not where the weed actually goes, but on the inside of the little cylinder. So another thing that I really like about this is that it actually keeps it heat for two minutes. I didn't really pay attention to the other ones and how long the heat actually stayed, but for some reason, I, I just paid attention to this one. The heat stays for two minutes, which is really great. Some other ones, they only stay for like 30 seconds. Um, so that means that when you heat it up and then you kind of, you take like a, a hit or whatever, and you just kind of leave it there and you wait, it still stays hot for the next two minutes. So because this thing is pretty big, it's, I think it's bigger, honestly, than the other ones. Like the cylinder is pretty big. I'll turn it and bring it up. It is pretty big, so you can kind of see it there. Um, you are able to um, use it multiple times in kind of one go. But what I really, 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 really liked is that on a charge, you can go three to five times which is really good because other ones don't stay charged as long. Whereas this one, because I guess like it's a, it's a bit girthier, it's a bit bigger than the other ones, it, um, it, it holds its charge longer. So you could refill this three to five times and your charge will still work. Anyway, so like I said, this one is my favorite out of the three. I don't really have much to say about it because um, it's pretty, they're pretty much all similar. Like you put the stuff in, you heat it, you wait, it's heated, you puff, you're done. It stays heated for a little bit, there you go. Don't put this in your pocket right after because it's hot. Don't put this one in your pocket right after, don't put this one, okay? The one that's maybe the least um, um, compatible or compatible, compactable, compactable that you can fit in your pocket is this one out of these three. This one is the easiest, you can just put it in your pocket, it's great. This one's a little bit girthier than this, but I still really like it the best um, because it has kind of, even though this is like the plastic, so it's not the cleanest flavor, compared to this one, has the cleanest flavor, it's still kind of very comfortable to have in your hand, very compact, and you can put a lot of stuff in there. Um, but that kind of goes the same for this one because this has a meta, like a glass little thing that you can puff in, um, but um, for some reason the, the flavor isn't as good as these two. But they're kind of almost all in the same price range, right? This was $179, this one is $189, and this is $199. So, um, once again, portablehookahs.com, vaped.ca, and tvape.com. So these are the three places that I got them in. Um, so yeah, so these are the three here that I've reviewed. If you have any questions, please let me know, but make sure to take a look at those websites. And uh, yeah. Oh, now it's update time. Sorry, I almost finished the video without updating you. So I'm not doing the medical marijuana thing. I did it for a couple of months, but then I had to stop. One, it was really expensive. Like even just having the membership to have medical marijuana in Quebec, oh my God. Two, the, the weed was actually pretty expensive. And um, I felt like it wasn't doing the best for my anxiety. It was good for CBD, okay? Um, I have some friends who have a lot of pain and have tried these vapes with me and they have their own weed that is higher in CBD than THC and so you don't get high, okay? You don't get high off the weed that I smoked, but you feel like it's a pain reliever and it helped me calm me down a little bit, for, but I felt like for the amount of the price, it wasn't worth it. My anxiety now is a lot better, but I can definitely see in the future if my anxiety gets as bad as it was in like May, June, July, I would definitely go back and I would go back to these and try them. And there's not one that I hate, so it's not like I'm gonna throw one out and I'm never gonna use it. I would use these interchangeably changeably like oh I need something smaller for my pocket I'm wearing my tight pants I'll use this oh I have a pocket in my jacket I can put this one it's no big deal oh I can put this in my bag in my jacket no big deal it's fine so there's not one that I hate and there's not one that I love the most like yes this one is the best but maybe I would actually use this one because it has the cleanest flavor so I mean, it's kind of a tie honestly these three are kind of very similar so that's it uh, that was my update. I know a small update. If you want me to update more on that, I will. No problem. Uh, just let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys later. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.